but I assume you can see and hear me. No. I can't see you yet. Oh, I you're can hear you. Oh, you hey. Hey, how you there, doing? Can right. you see me? Yeah, I can see you great. Cool. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview. No, and thank I'm you. I appreciate it. How awesome the movie was. I really loved it. Thank you. I wasn't sure what to expect. I mean, you hear something like a found footage superhero movie. Yeah. Wow, it, it really was, was, was impressive. Um, where did you find the footage? Um, somebody sent it to me in the mail. Um, it was like a kind of a Craigslist thing. <laughs> and yeah. um, you never know what you're going to get with Craigslist, so yeah. it turned out to yeah. be a good movie. Um, watching the movie, it seems like there's there's much more to the story than we can actually see. Yeah. Have any of it mapped out in your head, or is it all just sort of it was, a bit of sketches, a little bit of this? It was all very thoroughly mapped out in my head and then on page, and um, I'm, a, I'm a really intense planner. Um, a visual planner and um, uh, every every aspect of this movie from the the camera work to the production design to the style of visual effects that we needed to really um, create a, a realistic fabric and texture to this kind of a movie um, everything was very very planned and there was a lot of logic and, and thought that we put into every scene now because it's a, a found footage movie does that make it more difficult or just as difficult as like a regular feature film? In a lot of ways, it, I'd say it, it, it makes it more difficult, and, um, but at the same time, a very exciting challenge uh, uh, as a filmmaker because there's suddenly this big responsibility to make it not a found footage movie in mm -hmm. a lot of ways um, and to take an idea that, ha that has to break outside of itself at a certain point in, in sort of the later stages of the, the first act um, where uh, we, we establish from the beginning that this is a character who is a bit more talented with his camera than your average POV <laughs> character and um, has a steady hand and uh, an, an interesting commentary and way of framing up his world. Um, at a, and, and, and a reason for, for filming things. Uh, this, the film opens up like a documentary, a personal documentary, something that you would see at like, you know, opening at Sundance in the documentary competition. Right. This kid and experiencing abuse at home and at school and he's just, you know, had enough and he's filming everything. And then to the surprise of Andrew and to the audience, 15 minutes into the film, it becomes something completely different. Mm -hmm. um, so there was a uh, uh, the the setting the the movie up like that I think is really really important. It's really good that that it's 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 superhero POV. What is this? And then to go into it and see this kind of real coming of age drama emerge. Right. Well, uh, speaking of found footage, I have my cameras right here. I'm making a found footage movie about myself. What advice yes. can you give me? Um, do you have image stabilizer? No, I'm just gonna wiggle it around like this, okay. get real close to my beard, and see what happens. Maybe okay. I'll find some. You know, okay, this is what I think. Right? If you're gonna go for it, then really go for it. You should, you know, toss the cameras up, and you know, j a Done. lot of camera. Just toss, it, it no, no, fell. no. That's, that's not a good shot. Camera yeah. juggling, but I highly suggest that you always have a static camera set up somewhere, so that you can yeah. always cut away to that static camera, so that people aren't gonna get uncomfortable and and walk out of the theater. So I shouldn't be wiggling around like I am right now. Yeah, and you also oh, need a, 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 a strong um, a, a strong story or genre twist. Well, maybe I'll find superpowers and be able to throw buses. That's what I'm hoping. I know. Until Every, then, I'm just a everybody wants to throw editor. a bus at somebody. <laughs> well, thank you so much uh, for talking with me. I know you're busy, and I'm going to let you go. No, thank and you so I much. I really love the movie, so thanks a lot. Oh, thanks, man. It was great talking to you. Thanks, Cameron. Thanks. Bye.